What's up, YouTube? It's the Passive Income Trucker. Coming back at you today with another video, and today I'm getting back into my series of the uh, Bitcoin terminology and other series that I started with the um, passive and what they have to offer. And the definition for today, inside, oh, I guess I should have done this before I did it, before I started my video, but the definition of today for Bitcoin is algorithm. Algorithm. As I type it, the word for today is algorithm. And the definition of algorithm is it's a way to solve a task using data processing and calculations. There are different types of algorithms in use by blockchain. And that's pretty that's the definition that we have. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go to um go to YouTube. And what we're gonna do in YouTube is pretty much just find a video and see if it'll help us explain a little bit more. There's not too many that actually you can find that shows the uh Bitcoin algorithm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this video and See what you got it is. Explain how Bitcoin works under the hood to give a clearer idea of what it really means to own, send, or mine Bitcoins. First, a brief high level overview of what Bitcoin is. At its core, Bitcoin is just a digital file that lists accounts and money like a ledger. A copy of this file is maintained on every computer in the Bitcoin network. These numbers don't represent anything in the physical world. They only have value because people are willing to trade real goods and services for a higher number next to their account and believe others will do the same. The numbers only have value because we believe they have value, just like any other fiat currency. To send money, you broadcast to the network that the amount on your account should go down and the amount on a receiver's account up. Nodes or computers in the Bitcoin network apply that transaction to their copy of the ledger and then pass on the transaction to other nodes. This, with some math-based security, is really all there is, a system that lets a group of computers maintain a ledger. And as you can see, this video was in 2013, so things may have changed a little bit since then because technology is always evolving, so that may have changed since then. So if you know anything that's, that's a better definition than this one, just let me know, and I'll update the video. But as of now, I'm just going to go with this back to the video. While this may sound similar to the way a bank maintains a ledger, the fact that the ledger is maintained by a group rather than a single entity introduces a number of important differences. For one, unlike a bank where you only know about your own transactions, in Bitcoin, everyone knows about everyone else's transactions. Also, while you can trust your bank, or you can at least sue it if something goes wrong, in Bitcoin, you're dealing with anonymous strangers, so you shouldn't trust anyone. The Bitcoin system is amazingly designed so that no trust is needed. Special mathematical functions protect every aspect of the system. The rest of this video will explain in detail how Bitcoin allows such a group of strangers to manage each other's financial transactions. Yep. At a basic level, for Alice to send money to Bob, she simply broadcasts a message with the accounts and the amount. Send five Bitcoins from Alice to Bob. Every node that receives it will update their copy of the ledger and then pass along the transaction message. Okay, that's pretty much it. I don't, I'm not going to go through the whole video. It looks like it's 22 minutes. Uh, I'm just going to put the video down in the link below in the description if you want to watch the remainder of the video because it looks like it's a little bit long and a little bit confusing. So for those of you that want to watch the complete video, um, you can just go ahead and I'll put that link in the description down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this definition one more time. It's probably more clear than that. The algorithm is just a way to solve a task using data processing and calculations. There are different types of algorithms in use by the blockchain. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And thank you for watching the video. Passive Income Trucker. I am trying to find the stop button. I have to find